the St. James Police have charged 33 years old Russian Patterson, otherwise called Chizzy, who is of a Harvey River Hanover address, with the murder of 35 year old social media influencer Anika Townsend, otherwise called Kean or Slickiana. Miss Townsend's body was retrieved by the Marine Police in the waters in the Reading area of the parish of St. James on the morning of Friday, October 21st, 2022. A post-mortem examination that was conducted on her body on November 5th concluded that her death was caused by strangulation. The post-mortem estimates that Miss Townsend was killed at some time between the hours of 11 p.m. Thursday, October 20th and 9 a.m. October 21st. During the course of this investigation, a wealth of forensic, cyber forensic, and other technical evidence was collected. Following consultation with the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, the JCF Legal Services Division, Pattison was formally charged with murder this afternoon. The facts are that on Thursday, October 20th, Miss Townsend traveled from Kingston to Montego Bay, where she was picked up by Pattison at approximately 7.30 p.m. During the course of the evening, they visited a restaurant in Hanover and a guest house in St. James. At some point in the night, an argument developed between them, which resulted in Miss Townsend being strangled by Pattison and her body disposed. Additionally, a 47-year-old security guard, Mr. Rowan Rose, otherwise called Early B, has been charged with misprison of felony in relation to this same matter. Investigations are ongoing as it is suspected that Mr. Pattison may have been involved in other incidents similar to those for which he has been charged. As a result, detectives are appealing to the public for any information that may assist. Persons may contact the Montego Bay CID at 876-684-9080 or Crime Stop at 311 Police Emergency at 119 or the nearest police station. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Friday evening to each and every person out there tuning into On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I have a young lady by the name of Danielle Hutchinson. She is seeking her help. She is seeking her assistance. She suffers from chronic epilepsy or what we would call fits. With this type of illness, she also suffers a great amount of seizures that lands her in the hospital many of times. She's also taken medications that has negative backlashes to it. She states that she has severe type of depression and she also have anger issues after taking such medications. So she has reached out to me personally and sent me a video asking for help. So I'll put her telephone number on screen so you all can contact her personally. And I'll also leave a link to her GoFundMe in the description section of my video. So please let us give a helping hand to this sister. Listen. Good evening, everyone. So, I'm a patient that has epilepsy, type 1 diabetes, also depression. What I'm doing here today is I'm going to inform you guys about all the illnesses I have and what have been happening in my life. So due to the epilepsy, I've been having seizures. I have suffered from pseudo seizures, seizures where I'm aware of what's happening while I'm shaking. 
I am aware, but I cannot stop the shaking happening. I also have focal seizures. She has seizures where I shake and I'm unconscious. I can I also have nocturnal seizures. Seizures where I sleep, I foam, and I do I'm not aware of that happening until I'm awake. I also have complex partial seizures. Seizures but where I can get I can be talking and then I be just completely blank out. I stare into space. A feeling of deja vu overtakes my body with anxiety and cold sweats. I have those seizures. Those I cannot control. I'm also I'm on a drug. I'm on a couple drugs I would say. Called drug called Kepra. Drug called Apovalproic. A drug called phenobarbital, those to control the seizures, they're not fully working, I would say, those drugs that I'm on. Because I still have the pseudos, I still have the tonic-clonics, it's just that I don't no longer have nocturnals often. I still have the complex partials. I'm on type 1 diabetes, I take insulin for it. Insulin, 70-30. Insulin, it basically works, not the way it should though, because sometimes it drops my sugar to a dangerously low level where I can faint on, because I've been having fainting spells recently. And sometimes I'm trying to monitor my eating habits so I don't carry my sugar to a dangerously high level, but my sugar levels are, is not steady. With the depression, <laughs> cannot control that one. I just suffer from depression. I'm on I'm, I'm on antidepressant called Cetraline. On the Cetraline, I just have it. Depression. I'm depressed. Not happy with myself. Not happy at all for life. I just have depression. And what I'm doing here today, guys, is. I'm asking for help because on the, I'll be seeing a neurologist because I haven't seen one since being diagnosed with epilepsy. I'll be seeing a neurologist recent, be seeing a neurologist soon. Not telling you guys a date, but soon, around two weeks from now, I'll be seeing a neurologist and I do know that neurologist will be asking for tests to be done to see what's happening in my brain that may be causing the epilepsy to happen. Because I really want them to stop with these epilepsy is taking over my life. The pill I'm on called Kepra makes me angry, really angry. Gives me uncontrollable anger. And makes me throw things all around. And let me just get angry and I cannot control it. It's called Kepra Rage. You guys can research that. I have Kepra Rage. Okay, um, now what I'm asking is for help. Help all around Jamaica. Help in every aspect that you guys can. Emotional help. Financial help, physical help if possible. My name is Danielle Hutchinson. You guys can reach me on Facebook and I will read your messages. That's D A N I E L L I E. Danielle Hutchinson. That's my name. And what I'm looking for is help. Because I do know if I do not get the help needed for the test that the neurologist will be prescribing, bad stuff will happen. Because with the caparage, awful. With the seizures happening, awful. With the insulin dropping my sugar to a dangerously low level, awful. And all of this I have is life-threatening. 
you guys can reach me via Facebook. If you reach me on this channel, on my YouTube channel, or through any, anywhere this is posted, I'll let you guys know my number where you can reach me and just lend a helping hand. I'm just asking you guys for help all around because this is take, basically making me sad. And when I fly into the Kepler region, I really cannot control myself. And this is the worst part of it. When I fly into the rages, I cannot control myself. I just get angry. And then I cry like a little baby. I cry like a little baby when I fly into the Kepler region. The Kepler rage yeah. being the pill for my epilepsy. No. Mm, so, can guys, reach out anywhere you can. Just reach out and let me know if you guys will be helping me. And I want to say thank you. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for lending a helping hand when you do. Thank you, all of Jamaica. Please understand or how this affects me. Understand, please, research epilepsy. Research type 1 diabetes. Research depression. Research a whole lot, because this is affecting a whole lot of people out there. I know that. It's affecting a lot of people in this world. Can you just do that? Research and lend a helping hand where you can, please.